January 25th, 1972. African-American politician Shirley Chisholm makes a major announcement. She will run for the highest office in the land. She is the first woman Democrat and the first ever African-American candidate to run for the nomination for President of the United States. But Shirley Chisholm is no stranger to firsts in politics. For the half decade before this announcement, she's been at the forefront of change in the nation's capital. Shirley Chisholm was the child of immigrants and a major political figure during the civil rights era, first as a Democratic member of the New York State Assembly. Here, child welfare, education, and minority representation became a focal point of her political career. And in 1968, she became the first black woman ever to sit in Congress. A woman is much more apt to be concerned with the things that have to do with the conservation and preservation of the most important resources that any nation ever has, and that's a human being. She fought to give domestic workers the right to a minimum wage, campaigned for equal rights for women, and opposed the Vietnam War. When she announced her run for presidency, she did so to demonstrate the sheer will and refusal to accept the status quo. Shirley Chisholm's campaign was underfunded. She did not win the most votes. 1.1 for Shirley Chisholm. She did not earn the Democratic nomination. But her ideas gained national attention and support. With her fame came criticism, racism, and especially sexism. As she later said, when I ran for the Congress, when I ran for president, I met more discrimination as a woman than for being black. And she added, men are men. Shirley Chisholm faced intense controversy throughout her career for her skin color and her gender. But she always persevered and stood her ground with a reminder of her campaign slogan, unbought and unbossed. Shirley Chisholm continued to work tirelessly both within and outside of Congress. And she inspired immigrants, women, and people of color. Her career paved the way for others in government, including former Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice, President Barack Obama, California Congresswoman Barbara Lee, and presidential nominee Hillary Clinton. Before her death in 2005, Shirley Chisholm said, I want to be remembered as a woman who fought for change in the 20th century. She earned her wish with a lifetime of groundbreaking service. <laughs>